A few weeks ago, I realized I haven't made a game in months, and after trying to come up with a game idea and constantly failing and failing, I decided to join a game jam. A game jam is a short event where game developers come together to all make a game on a certain theme or limitation within a short time frame. After looking around on itch.io, I decided to go with many jam, as it was the only good one happening within two weeks, and I pressed join jam. But before I could relax and wait for the theme, I had to do... Step 1. Prepare. Coming into a game jam unprepared is a terrible idea, which is why you need to prepare. And by prepare, I mean find a team and get all my software up to date and installed. So I wrote this essay and posted it in the finding a team section of the mini jam discord server. I was looking for a programmer. I made sure to specify that they must have experience, be fluent in English and live in Europe. And very shortly, I got a message. He met the expectations and after talking to him for half an hour, and discussing everything, I told him I had a load of people messaging me about collaborating on this jam. I didn't. In fact, he was the only one, but I wanted to see my options, and after waiting for a bit and getting no messages, I decided to go with him. But we were not finished preparing. I need a sound designer. After writing another formal essay, I got another message, and his music was pretty dope. So now that we have a team of three, we are ready to jam. Step 2. Idea. The jam started at 4am, so we arranged to meet up at 7am for about an hour and discuss what game we will be making, and after an hour of brainstorming, we came up with this. This was not going to be the final idea. The final idea works like this. You lift off from inside a spaceship on a rocket, with sparks everywhere because of a malfunction, and then you have asteroids flying at you. In our game, there are two ways to die, running out of fuel and crashing into an asteroid three times. You can pick up fuel, which makes the game more interesting, as you can't just outright keep dodging asteroids at all costs. You actually have to collect something so you can keep going. And now it is time for... Step 3, Jam Time. Now that everything is agreed upon, we can finally start making the game. I went on to draw the spaceship while my programmer went on to make the basic mechanics. I first drew the spaceship black and white, and then thought I could colorize it in Unity. Which was a terrible idea, and I later had to colorize it again in Photoshop. I imported the spaceship into the project, and by that time my teammate got everything set up, and you can move in this very cool tilting mechanic. Then I went on to draw the tube which you would escape out of at the start of the game. This took way longer than I expected. I kept tweaking it and tweaking until it didn't look cheap and like it was made in two seconds. By that time, my teammate got the tube acceleration curves on and already made the script for the asteroids, they just didn't spawn yet. And that was the end of day one. We made a good bit of progress and we thought that was, this was gonna be easy and we would finish this on day two. Little did we know, we were very wrong. On day two, we hopped on call again and went straight to work with me making the asteroids and the power up and with him finalizing the tube. I decided that 15 variations of asteroids was enough. We also got the sign designer working and listed the sound effects we needed for him to make. The programmer got the tube animation done and got the asteroid spawner working, but that was it for day two. After that, we weren't so sure we were nearly finished. With loads of bugs and there's still no main menu, we called it a day. On day three, I focused on the main menus while my programmer was implementing all of the sound effects and finalizing the wave system. We got that finished by about 5pm, and with the day, day nearly over, and tons of bugs, and no polish, we got to work fast. Him fixing bugs, and me adding post-processing, and other stuff like particle effects, that don't make much of a difference, but they really do count in the end. I got the polish finished quite soon, but a lot of the bugs were still there. After hours of hard work and fixing the majority of bugs, we had to submit. Time. Now, the jam is over. We got a good night's sleep, and it's time to rate games. The goal is to rate as many games as you can, and to leave good comments on games so people rate your game too. The goal with getting ratings is getting the median number, because if you get below median, you get points subtracted from your raw score. If you get median or above, your score stays the same. The key to getting more ratings is building for web or building for every single platform. This ensures everyone in the jam can play your game. You also need a good cover image for your game. Really take your time on it. 
trust me, it's worth it in the long run. In my opinion, the rating period is the best part of a game jam, because this is where you get to learn from your mistakes and play other people's games. The rating period for this game jam lasted 5 days, and now we go on to... Step 5 Review Results this is the stage where you look at what you did well and what you didn't. As for us, we scored 24th overall out of 135, which I think is not bad. We got 13th for limitation, 20th for enjoyment, 35th for presentation, and our worst category, 48th for concept. I totally agree with these ratings. Our concept was quite weak and was definitely a game made before. I don't really get why we got so high for limitation or why so low for presentation, but it is what it is. The game link will be in the comments. You can play it and tell me what you think. This overall was a fun experience and that is what matters.